I am here. One of my most favorite places in the whole entire world. I don't know what is my life right now. What are you doing? And you are not gonna believe what I see. It's pretty amazing, actually. It's time to shave yeah. Jen's head off. Time to shave all of your hair off. Got stung on the hand. I don't know why I insist on coming in here and getting stung. <laughs> Charlie loves the ranch, and that's where I'm headed, so I'm taking him with me. Have fun at school. I love you. Love you. Bye. So it was Carol's birthday over the weekend, and they were out of town, and so I wanted to make sure that she knew that we loved her and thought of her for her birthday. So I stopped at the store, got her some flowers, a little candle that we can give her this morning when she comes to help Canyon with school. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. This is so nice. Since we didn't get to see you on your birthday. It smells good. <laughs> Thank you. That is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get the whole family. Uh, hey, <laughs> I will take you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Poof, we're at the ranch. Are you so excited? Are you just so excited? <laughs> what is going on over there, dude? That bull is a little bit vocal this morning. I am here. One of my most favorite places in the whole entire world. I'm at the ranch. And the temperature is so perfect, it's almost jacket temperature right now uh, but as you can see the sun's up and it's getting warmer yeah the bulls coming to see the girls and I have a tractor to unload I love all the sounds of the ranch you hear the cows you hear Charlie excitedly panting you hear the uh, chickens or rooster over there crowing you hear the turkeys I love it and the birds chirping in the trees there's a rooster again love it and silence otherwise I don't know what is my life right now what are you doing so I every day I use mixers I use them per greens and I was going so I fill it put it in this water bottle put it in the fridge and then in the morning I have cold one to drink so I drank mine this morning and I went to redo it and I've been thinking about my sourdough start, the discard part, what I can make with it. And I guess I just was thinking about that because I opened my mixers and poured it in my sourdough. I mean, it could be good though. No, we gotta <laughs> take it out. I'm, I'm fine, that's disgusting. But this mixer's her greens is so great. It like gives me all the vegetables that I need because I don't eat a lot of vegetables because I'm allergic. So she can have all the vegetables. So I can have all the vegetables. It also helps with Not inflammation. Safe. Yeah, mixers, I really love it. They have so many great products. Okay, so there's a link in the description for mixers. You can use the code SARAHT10 for 10% off. And try it for yourself. Don't put in your sourdough starter, put it in your water but they have hydration, they have greens, they have her time that help with your periods. It's a healthy way, a natural, healthy, natural way to balance your hormones. Just last week, on Thursday, I believe, Wednesday or Thursday, we came out here to the ranch. And uh, for those of you who continue to follow us daily, you saw that we took the beehives, took them apart, got a couple boxes off of them, and we cleared the honey out. We got five gallons of honey, 55, ga 55 pounds of honey. And uh, we set the hives, the frames over here that we'd taken out of the hives, we set them over here because uh, apparently when you do that, you set it near, not exactly close to, but close enough to the hive, the bees will come and clean it off. Well, there's a lot of bees on it and you are not gonna believe what I see. It's pretty amazing actually. 
There's honeybees on there. But I see more hornets or wasps than I do honeybees. That's not what I expected. Makes sense though. I will say that it looks like the honey is pretty cleaned off of it. Looks like the same thing over here. Good mixture of honeybees and wasps. A good mixture of honeybees, wasps, and hornets. They were all three on there. And then we're gonna go look in the honey, honey hive, honeycomb, honey, actual beehive house. It looks pretty busy over here. I just don't want to get stung again. I got stung last week and that's no fun. Looks like both hives are doing well still. I'll probably put a bee suit on later and check out the hive some more so you can see what uh, they've been up to for the last week. They've been pretty busy. And then this week I need to also go in and get the rest of the honey out so that I can have two five gallon buckets or 110 pounds of honey. I'm guessing that's at least what we'll get is another five gallon bucket. What do you have? What package do you have there? Um, my dress okay. for choir. Whoa. Nice. So at school today, when I, when we were in California, they gave out the dresses for choir, the choir concert, which is next week. And I didn't get it because I was in California. So I got mine today and it's in the back right there. But we got all our stuff ready for the choir concert today and are learning our parts more. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. I almost finished a sunglasses case in sewing today. Nice, and today I have been just hanging out with my sister. I was gonna vlog all the things we did today and we've just been sitting and talking all day. So <laughs> we didn't vlog, but it's been a great day. That's good. My day was really good, except for like, the last like 20 minutes of child development we were writing stories and I was like I really have no motivation for this right now so I just didn't write anymore <laughs> we don't have to finish it today though so it was fine but I wrote part of it but yeah it's a good day I'm really tired though <laughs> We are going to be bringing the horse here this weekend, this week actually. And uh, Stubbsy cleared all this out. It's looking really good with the tractor. Poor Cody, I told him that we were gonna go get something to eat like forever ago. I was like, hey, should we go get something to eat? And then I started on another project. And of course he grabbed it first and took off with it. So I had to finish it. Um, because I had to do some of the work, but it looks pretty good. It's uh, burning of all the weeds around the trampoline. It looks really good in there, actually. Around the outside edges. The kids are all coming here this weekend, and uh, I'm really excited for it. Spend time as a family at the ranch, and uh, the trampoline is one of the places that they, the little kids, love playing the most and so to not have sticker weeds and whatnot around is uh is a huge bonus anyway time to go get something to eat charlie caught a mouse gross did you do that charlie did you catch that mouse did you catch another one Ew. last week when i was out here at the ranch i had to vacuum all the moths from the tiny home and now that i'm back here again there's a thousand more to vacuum up. And I did find something really cool in the bathroom. So it sounds like a cricket that just keeps doing the chirp con con consistently. It doesn't do the chirp, 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 chirp. It's just like, eee. Well, there's one inside of, in, the, in the tiny home here in the bathroom. As Soon as I hear it, I'm gonna show you. It comes from a bug that I had no clue that that's what it comes from and it is way cool. See him in there flying around? Do you hear that? That's it right there. That little fly right there is making all that noise. How cool is that? Not even very big, look how little it is. So if you've ever heard those at night, that is the bug that's actually making that noise. 
I think that's super rad. 62, I'm up to 62. I hear a fly in here, but do you see that up there? More moths showing up. They just come out of, I don't know where. I have no clue. This tiny home is actually pretty sealed up, so I'm not sure where they're coming from, but I'm up to 62, 100. Doesn't seem so far off now. Time to shave yeah. Jen's head off. Time to shave all of your hair off. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, oh it looks ah. amazing. It's funny <laughs> short in it. It's cute. I like it. They're bearding, which means it's a little warm inside the hive. If they go inside there too hot these are so fascinating so this is the hive that we haven't touched yet Ooh, it's on me <laughs> stung me in the hand where did it go dang it okay anyway here we go got stung on the hand that hive right there we took two boxes from it and pulled 55 pounds of honey from the two top boxes right there. So we need to take, in the next few days, we need to take those two top boxes off of that one and leave those bottom three for the bees and replace that one. And we should be able to have another 55 pounds of honey. I don't know why I insist on coming in here and getting stung. Now, I got stung three times the other day once in the finger and once in the ear, once in the, uh, the shoulder. The one in the ear and the shoulder, they like they went away, like almost within two or three hours. The one on my finger is still there. So I'm hoping this one on my hand, which didn't, it's not stinging like the other one was. And it's stinging about like it was on my ear. So hopefully it'll go away within three or four hours. But here they come again. Let's get out of here. The party's over, company's gone. <sighs> Johnny stayed at the ranch tonight. Kids are in bed, so. I needed to get this floor clean. It was so disgusting and I just couldn't handle it anymore. I had such a nice day off today, day off with my sister, just talking and hanging out and swimming with the kids and my niece and her daughters. And it's been a great time having them here. And I'm sad they have to go home, but I get to see them again. We get to see them again in a couple of months. And, um, now I gotta get back to getting my house back in order. <sighs> After I have a heat stroke. Holy cow. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support for Danielle and her book. If you haven't checked out her book yet, there's a link in the description below. You can get it on Amazon. Sold Ones. It's such a great book. If you like to read, this is a great book to read. Check it out. Thank you for always loving and supporting us. We love you and as always, you are worth it. Bye.